way back for another. This is going to be a story time. I guess that's what you want to call it. I was thinking about it last night and I was dying laughing because I keep saying, you know what? I'm tired of playing games with guys. I've been playing a lot. I, I, I didn't, we didn't play a lot of games. I've been seeing a lot of games. I know when I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying? So it's like, don't ever think that you're playing me because I'm <laughs> LeBron, like. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the story time. This might've been like <sighs> four or five years ago. My boy, I'm not gonna call his name. Everybody's gonna be in the internet in this video. So I'm telling my brother, yo, like, put me D with one of your friends, cause you know, like, I'm bored. It's summertime and I need to pop out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and don't be putting me on with nobody that's whack. <laughs> so he like, sis, I got you. I'm about to, matter of fact, I'm, I'm trying to hook you up with my boy. He a good dude. You know what I mean? Like, he ain't gonna play games. He got a car, he got a job. And I'm like, okay, car job. Well, yeah, right? So, boom. His friend starts hitting me up on Facebook Messenger. He's liking all my pictures. And, you know, he wasn't really my type. I'm telling my brother, like, mm, that's not it. And he was like, sis, you got to stop being, like, you know, so picky. This is what I'm saying. I'm trying to hook you up and you playing. I'm like, ah, I'm giving a boy a chance. We talking. Or whatever like that. He was really nice, you know. He wanted to get to know me. He was asking me a lot of questions, you know, gentleman stuff. But we had went out a few times. It was summertime. Like we would be texting. I'll be saying, I want some ice cream, or whatever like that. He like, I'm come pick you up until you get some ice cream. We went on ice cream dates. Like we went to the park. You know, we would just do cute stuff, sit in a car and talk. And he would come see me with another friend of his, which is a friend of mine. So. You know, we would just be chilling or whatever like that. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going nowhere. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm telling my mom, like, I don't like him like that. He's a nice guy, but no. She was like, well, you know, just like, don't use him. But if he doing nice stuff for you, then what's wrong? Why you don't like him? I'm like, no, mom. And she was like, well, stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. If you don't like him, then tell him. Because he's buying things. He's taking you out. You need to let him know now. I keep telling him, like, I'm dubbing him. The friend zone text, like, all that. Like, no, ain't no babe, boo, nothing. He babing me, booing me. Don't do it, because I'm not doing it back. But anyway. He on the phone, and he's in the car with my brother and his boy, which is my friend. Just like, hold on real quick. So they talking, and I guess he thought he put me on mute. He like, yeah, I'm really feeling her. He be trying to take her out, like I want to do something nice. But my brother like, well, what you want to do nice? I don't know, like I want to take her to the opera or something. My brother was like, opera? Do you don't want to go to no opera? And I'm on the phone like, shut up. You messing up my opportunities. Yes, I do want to go to the opera, like. You a hater. He was like, Joy's not trying to go to no opera, but you know she loves music and she's singing and all of that, but no. Take her to the Jill Scott concert. Jill Scott about to be out here in two months, bro. Take her to that. She gonna, she gonna have fun at that. So he like, oh yeah, that sound good. Matter of fact, Music Soul Child gonna be out here next month. And Jay Pack, I might take her to that. My brother was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, that's more her style. Like that's what she trying to do. So he comes back to the phone and he like, yeah, my fault. And I'm like, you know. You ain't have me on mute. I'm oh, like, it's cool, it's fine, you know, whatever like that. So it comes time for this concert, and he's telling me, you know, like, I want to take you or whatever. And I'm like, cool. Mind you, it was Music Soul Child, Layla Hathaway. I'm like, if he take me to this concert, I might have to really give him a chance because I really like Layla Hathaway's my sis. Like, that's my vocal idol. I really. He gonna win, like he gonna get a number with this one. He gets points, like for real. He has the tickets, he takes me to this concert. I had a really nice time. He wasn't trying to be like, you know how guys be pushing up on you and stuff like that? He wasn't like that, like, he wasn't trying to touch on me and all of that, he was cool, he was nice. We enjoyed the concert, we had a good time. We left the concert, we went out to eat. He paid for it, the whole thing. I tell him, you don't have to pay for me. He's like, I want to, you're not paying for nothing. We go out to eat or whatever, and I'm telling him, like, it's late at night. And I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. I have to get up tomorrow morning to do hair. I'm a licensed gynecologist. Man, I really don't want to do it. I had to get up like 8 o'clock, da 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 So he like, oh, well, what you, what you was doing to her here? I'm like, I'm just doing a soap press. I'm like, I, I'm, it ain't really nothing. 
blood thing. He's like, well, how much you gonna make? $50. It's, it's not enough money to be in at 8 a.m. Like, I'm tired. Only do it because I committed to it already. He goes in his pocket. And he takes out his money. He puts $50 on the table. I'm like, what is this? He's like, that's for you. I was like, no, it's not. He was like, yes, it is. I was like, I'm not taking it. He was like, I'm not taking it back. I was like, you never gave it to me. He was like, I put it on the table. And I'm like, well, I never picked it up. And he was like, you're going to because I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm like, no, no. Like, long story short, that money ended up in my purse. He took that money and stuffed it in my bag. and was like, it's yours. I'm not taking it back. And he was like, now, you don't got to go to work tomorrow if you don't want to. And if you want to, go to work. Now you're going to have a $100. hundred dollars not getting anything from me sir you're not <laughs> like took me to this nice concert you took me out to eat okay and you gave me fifty dollars and no i'm sorry not gonna work i still don't like you like that we not kissing we not nothing you know i considered it in my head i was like dang he just did all of this i could at least hug and kiss him tonight and i just i couldn't pull my mind to do it y'all i just didn't like him like that i just didn't not only that let me tell you so we on the phone chopping it up next day. And he talking about, yeah, you know, I'm about to go see my sneaker connect. I'm about to get these bread 11s, da 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 I might get these fours too. But yeah, what size you wear? I'm like, no. No. He was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna get you nothing. I swear I'm not, I swear I'm not. I'm just trying to besides you, I see if he carry your size. Like maybe you do want something, you feel me? Like I got the connect, I got the plug. I'm like, all right, I'm eating a half them boys. He was like, cool. He goes to see his sneaker connect. 30 minutes later, he's on Facebook talking about his and hers. This boy bought two pairs of bread 11s. I called my brother instantly. I was like, I know that's not for me. I know that's <laughs> Don't do that. I didn't want nothing. He was like, you better get that, sis. You better get it. I was like, I don't want to get it. <laughs> I don't want to get it. No, I don't want to get it. Says, stop playing he's a good dude and i'm like he's like he's just trying to do for you like he like you and i'm like no no i don't and he can't be buying me sneakers and stuff like that that's too much we're not even in a relationship and he's doing a lot really fast two and three weeks of texting in, in a month and we've done a lot now this is too much he comes to my house he drops off these breads and i'm like i told you like take the sneakers My mom was like, what is that? I was like, mom, this boy bought these sneakers. She was like, joy. I was like, huh? She was like, you better tell him. I was like, my I tried to sell This is too much. I tell him no. I tell him no. I'm not the type of person. I'm not using nobody. We ain't never gonna hold nothing over my head saying you did this to me and I owe you something. Even though I don't feel like he's like that and he wasn't like that, he was just nice like that. A lot of things he used to do for me. He'd just pop up at the crib, I'm outside, you know, let's, let's chill, let's talk. And he would come with a teddy bear. I still have that teddy bear because it was really, really cute. But like, it was just cute stuff that he would do. And I'm like, if, if you was like a different person, maybe I could accept this. And honestly, I'm not gonna say it had to do with looks because listen, girls will date an ugly guy and not care. If he treats you good, he treats you good. And he wasn't ugly. He honestly was not ugly. Somebody else might look at me and be like, why are you with him? Or somebody might look at him and be like, dang, how you pull her? It's not your business. Like, if he's treating me good, if he's a good person, I'm gonna give him a chance. He might be ugly to you. Like, to me, they look good. Like, everything about them, the way they make me laugh, like their charisma, their personalities, it, it overlooks the looks. And I, listen somebody for everybody I, I try not to look at people like that people always got something to say nonetheless he had a car he had a job he treated me good he took me out he gave me money but hunting once the real tea came out i was like it was the lord he was chiming in he was trying to let me know this ain't for you the guy had a baby on the way let me correct that not just a baby twins on the way. CCC, you failed to mention that part, brother. I hit my brother up instantly. Are you serious? Yo, I ain't even <laughs> like, that don't even matter though. Yes, it does. That means he was recently in a relationship. You don't just get somebody pregnant with twins. And that's something you should have told me when you came into this. Like, you should have said, yeah, I got a kid on the way. Well, I know something, somebody's gonna be taking your time. You really don't have time to devote to a new relationship because you have kids on the way. That was, that was strike one. 
strike two, he didn't have no type of communication with baby mama besides through his mom. He didn't even know his kids were born. I found out his kids were born on Facebook before he found out his kids were born. What is that? I was already turned off, but that just turned the notch a little more. <laughs> to top it off, I found out that the breads he bought me were fake. Ah! I guess his sneaker plug <laughs> didn't have real sneakers. That's the highest level of disrespect. It's a no for me. It's a, it's a no. Just because somebody's doing nice things for you, it, you don't owe them anything. And if you told them no and they decided to do it anyway, then that's their business. I said I wasn't feeling this. I ain't never kissed you, I ain't never touched you, I never hugged you. You never put the hand on the small of my back. No. But you know what's crazy? After all of that, you know what I mean? The motions and really liking me and wanting to do stuff for me and taking me out. Once I stopped talking to him, which was like, let me dead this now before he, he get his hopes up anymore. He gave his baby mother a ring. So you loved her. That was fast. I stopped talking to you today. Next week you give her a ring. It was God. He was trying to tell me something. He was. He was telling me it ain't worth it. This ain't that. <laughs> you know, you got a baby. We got two kids on the way. And you know what's crazy? He DMs me to this day. To this day. <laughs> to this day. If you watching this video, I'm sorry, sir, but you have a wife and you have two kids that look alike, identical. So why are you talking to me? Trying to figure out what I'm doing. Do I have a boyfriend? Why you haven't seen me in a while? Why haven't I seen you in a while? Where have you been? How's your kids? How's your wife? Where is your wife? Where is your wife? Where is your wife? Moral of the story is, if you know you don't like them from Jump Street, just tell them, don't waste your time. More than likely it's for a good enough reason. You just don't know it yet. It'll probably come out later. Don't use nobody. Don't use them just because they do stuff for you and they can't. That's not nice. That's not cool. Don't do that. You don't let your brother put you on with nobody. Because he's going to vouch for one of his boys even though he know they ain't it. He know they ain't it. He's going to vouch. It's just boy code. Like, I don't even. If you guys want more story times, let me know. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.